Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's podcast, it's one of our favorite podcasts to do. It is with a graduating member of flight school who's got a really, really cool story. But before we talk to our guest, I'd be remiss if I didn't introduce properly my co-host, the brain, the professor, your flight school Sherpa, Scott Todd from scotttodd.net, landmoto.com, learn anything about anything, investorninjas.com. Scott Todd, how are you? Mark, I'm great, how are you? I'm a little intimidated. It's not, it's not every day we get to interview a celebrity as well as one of our flight school grads. That's right, let's get That's going. Right. So today's guest is Paul Flanagan. And Paul, why don't you just give everybody a little bio on you? So my name is Paul Flanagan, uh, the second. Mark, thank you for having me. Scott, thank you for having me. Um, my bio, yes. a little bit of bio on me is, um, I'm a professional actor. I've been a professional actor for, for 20 years. Um, Mark and I have a agreement um, that I will trade him a signed, uh, what we call a uh, headshot for a new version or a signed copy of your book, the new book that's coming out. And did you guys figure out a title? We're still working on it. Okay. We're still working. So on I've it. been, so, so I still, I'm do that. Um, so, um, uh, right now, uh, I've been, uh, the most recent thing that I'm in right now is, uh, your honor it's a it's a show uh, on showtime a lot of people are watching it um it's i was really impressed by by the show um i think it's going to be i think it's going to be end up being a really good show uh you guys can find me on uh another show right now it's called uh, amazing stories it's not as good as your honor um i'll i'll admit to that uh, but I did good. Um, uh, the, and so, so you guys are, uh, you guys are in for a lot. Um, I think I've, I, uh, graduated flight school with Scott Todd, uh, as a teacher in 2018. I think it was December of 2018 is when I graduated. Um, and, uh, from the, from the land geek, uh, school. And it's been nothing but awesome from there. So, Daughter, wife, and still, uh, you know, uh, one foot in front of the other. So that's my wow. bio. Yeah. No, it, it's great. So, you know, being a working actor, I can imagine, yeah. is is tough. In in the sense that your your income is lumpy, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean. That's where it ties into the, the brilliance that is, that is um, your program uh, or, or the land geek and flight school and even just period land investing is because it is a, it is a haul to be a professional actor because you, you don't make any money as a professional actor. You don't, unless you're, um, you know, reoccurring or you happen to get the roles that I got, um, which pay you passive income. And it had, and, and, and I got, I have, you know, two, um, two, uh, ways of receiving passive income. One of, one of them is land investing taught by you and the other is acting, but it took me 20 years to get two roles that pay me passive income. So, so basically, Oh wait, you're you're Paul. You're on mute. One day. Oh, there you go. Uh, I worked one day on uh, two two different shows, and I get I have reoccurring income or passive income for the rest of my life for those two shows as long as somebody um, airs those shows as some as long as some production company airs those shows. Just um, when you go back, like another one. Like MASH, you remember MASH? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, those guys signed a contract 
that took them out of their passive income. Like they signed, they, they don't have any passive income because they, they just made a bad decision and their agents made a bad decision. So, uh, and I've been bought out before uh, on several, a lot of different roles. I've been bought out and they pay you a flat amount. But on these two, uh, that's, I guess that's what you kind of go for. And that, that's the thing, like as a professional actor, um, you can, you can get those two roles or three roles where they pay you for the rest of your life. Um, a percentage of whatever is, 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 is taken in on, um, you know, the production company. So that and, and land investing is the only two things, the only two mediums, uh, vehicles that I have for passive income. So, yeah. Scott Todd, what are your thoughts? Well, the good, the good news is, is that um, anybody that's thinking about doing land investing, one, they don't have to go become a professional actor, right? Like it doesn't go right. one, like you don't have to become an actor to do land investing, okay? Like that's the good thing and you can create a passive income. And I think that that's one of the things that a lot of people miss when they talk about like passive income or real estate or whatever. It's okay, it's nice to have the, the money coming in because the minute that your bills are met, well, then yeah. the rock is out of your shoe, right? Like imagine walking around, you got this rock in your shoe, it's uncomfortable, you can manage, but it's uncomfortable. The bills, not knowing if your bills are gonna be made or just cutting it close enough, that's that rock in the shoe. The minute that all of that's done, well, after that, you're walking around with no pebbles in your shoes and life gets better. And then what happens is you can go, I mean, I'm not saying this for Paul, but like you can go and it relieves the stress and then you can go have fun with the other stuff that you want to do. So yeah. like Paul said like 20 years to get these two roles. Yeah. Well, the passive income from land investing takes a lot of that burden off. Now he can go have some fun with what yeah. he's doing. Get it? Don't get it? I'm golden. And I think that that is power. That's leverage and it's power. And I just want everybody to be able to get passive income like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the fun. Yeah. So so that's another Todd, Todd, Todd hit it. Scott Todd hit it. Like the reward is the fun. The reward is um, it takes work. What you guys are teaching takes work. It takes a few minutes, you know, to do. You can't. Uh, it took me 20 years to get one source of passive income from a skill that I have. You guys are teaching something, right? So you're teaching a skill. So I don't have to, I don't have to actually have that already. I can just implement what you guys already know. You already know it. So I, but I, but I do actually have to uh, work at it and I do have to do it. But um, the rewards, I think, dude, the, the first, the first, my first deal after December 2018 was with a land investor. It was another land investor. He sold me three properties. I made like a 700% return on wow. three properties from another land investor. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, uh, a mailing or anything like that. Oh, it was actually a mailing, but it was another land investor that got the mailing, but it wasn't a um, motivated buyer. It wasn't a motivated buyer. It was a, a land investor. So um, you, you do have to work at it, but I do find right now that uh, the land investing has helped me become who I'm supposed to be as far as, being an actor because I have passive income on uh, that side because it, on the land investing side because it's very difficult to make money uh, acting but um, so you do end up with that free time and you do end up with making you know the money that you know equalizes to the amount of time that you put into it so that's a that's the greatest thing yeah that's the greatest thing ever it's just, it's just, I'm doing, I mean, land investing in, enabled me to do, you know, my dream further. And I know it took me, it took me 20 years to actually, you know, uh, you know, job uh, working for other people, um, uh, doing a nine to five, uh, getting fired, quitting, uh, 
not, not running out of vacation time to be this professional actor. Um, so I did put in that work. However, land investing and, and the, the flight schooling and what you guys taught me furthered my career, furthered my career as a professional actor and, and, and gave me free time to be able to do auditions and show up. So it's great. That, that's great. I, I can imagine, though, when you first I, I imagine you heard me on a podcast. Is that is that how you, yeah. you found us? And then yeah. you go to your, your spouse and say, honey, I want to do land investing. How did that go over? Um, so that's the brilliance of the story is that I, I actually married somebody who's better than me, right? So uh, <laughs> she was already doing better than me, listening to uh, a podcast that I think, Mark, you were a guest on. I think you were a guest on, and I don't know, I don't know exactly what it was, but you talked about uh, the the, uh, the the book uh, Dirt Rich, and so she didn't read it. She didn't read it. She didn't. I don't even think she bought it, but she was impressed by what you were saying, and I think I bought it. I got it. I looked at it. I'm not a reader. It's like 69 pages or something like it's a skinny book, right? It's not a hard read. I'm not, it's not a, a hard reader. read. It's, it is 200 it's, pages, but it's not a hard read. It feels oh, like it 69 pages. pages? So, no, 200, 200. 200? I read yeah. that. That's awesome. That's awesome yeah. that you did that. Um, but, uh, you know, you're uh, the, I'm not a reader. And so, but what you said in the book and the way that you said it, it was like, oh, wait, I can actually make some money doing this and like have my family be proud of me and provide for them through this vehicle. And I understand what this guy is saying. So that alleviated a lot of stress. Yeah, she she brought the book. I read it and I now, you know, I got hooked when I read it. So I don't know, you know, if you don't have that, uh, if you don't have that energy where, where you're not going to, you know, you have to have the energy to where you want to change your life, right? You, you have, that has to be inside of you. And, uh, but your book, it was a vehicle and it, you know, to, to get, to get there. So it was basic. It was really easy. It was. It wasn't hard. It wasn't difficult. You you laid it out, and 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 I I read it and and I put it in place. And uh, had my wife not done that, I'd still be like this struggling actor who, you know, is just just relying on that and trying to fill in the holes. But uh, yeah, I hope you. I hope. I don't know what's coming on Dirt Richer, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Or you know, whatever, yeah, so whatever the name of the book is, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be how to scale your land business and start using those other points of leverage, other people's time, software, and other people's money and really grow your business. So Dirt Rich is the, the foundation. Dirt Rich or, or something like that whatever. would be taking it to that next level. Um, Scott Todd, what are your thoughts? I mean, there, there's a lot. I mean, one of the things that Paul said is that, you know, he – he had that desire, right? And I talk a lot yeah. about this, okay? Like, I see a lot, I, I'm pretty privileged because I see a lot of people that want to want to do something with land investing. Okay, well, the people that succeed, they all have one thing in common, and that is that burning desire to fix a problem in their lives. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Replace your income, you hate your job, you need security, whatever it is. Man, when you have that passion that says like, yeah man, I'm going to go and do this thing, well, then you are unstoppable. The, the, the challenge for most people is really pulling out that why, because, you know, like, not, I'm not, I'm, I mean, the, the person I'm about to mention is a very polarizing person. I'm not saying one way or the other about them, but you, you look at this, um, you look at this Congresswoman AOC, right? Uh, AOC, everybody knows AOC. Well, whether you like her, hate her, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to make this politics, but the one thing that you may not know about her is this. She had she had an intense fear of speaking. 
okay? Young 20-something-year-old person, intense fear of speaking. You can't get her to stop talking now. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> like, I, and I'm not judging one way or the other. I'm just saying she is not, she doesn't stop. It's like she gets paid by the word. Why is that? Why? Because she felt so, like, she felt so, uh, this, this big need to make some sort of a change that she's not stoppable now, Okay. And I think that that's what happens. And I like what Paul said. He had to solve this problem, right? Like he knew he had to solve yeah. the problem. And then he gets to reap the benefits of it. And too many right. times people try to solve the problem. And they're like, you know what? I make a lot of money at work. You know, I, it's, yeah, okay, if this works, great. And that's cool. You've educated yourself on something. But man, you really want to put the, put the pedal down? Think like Paul. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, Scott and but you know um, you do need a, a vehicle and the, I think the vehicle was uh, the book I think it was um, um, and then of course you guys and my next thing is is to get like uh, on process moto actually I'm gonna get really intensive on process moto and because uh, I've been in the business since December 2018 things are going great I've got uh, as far as numbers goes um, I, um, I never did do coaching, but so the, my numbers are, could be a lot better, but I think I've got like 14, um, I think, uh, right at 14, um, um, terms deals. And I've had like four or five cash deals, I think. Um, uh, but the ROI or the return on the income on the terms deals is freaking phenomenal it's just insane it's insane so um I'm, my next thing is definitely to focus on process moto but yeah you do have to have the desire but i definitely needed the book i definitely needed uh uh somebody to tell me the the, the way to go about doing it and it was it was awesome just just to just to realize just to read it in words that this is possible so that was cool that was really cool yeah so. are there are there any parallels that translate from acting into the land business that we haven't even thought about we were like oh this this seems pretty easy for me because you don't have a real estate background at all I don't um that's a good, that's a really good question. Um, before I just jump off and answer something, um, uh, the parallel that I can come up with is, I guess on, on the, is, I don't know, I guess just the passion of it. Um, but that's personal, that's on a personal level. So I have a passion for, that's a gift, uh, that, that I was given to be able to do, act, and read, a, read, because I can't. So there is a parallel. So you, you help me figure it out. So the parallel is this, is that um, a director tells me what to say, right? So I, I, I am no, I actually am just a true actor. And I can't, like, come in and I'm not a script writer. I'm not a uh, director, I'm not, I'm not. Um, I actually need somebody to tell me what to say. I do, and then I need you to tell me what the, uh, the um, feeling or the message is that you want to deliver. And I can't come up with that on my own. So I guess in the land, it would equal to, you know, just um, the land business is, it's black and white, right? So it's it's the land investing is all about deeds and 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 um, notary and uh, buying and selling and actually doing the legal stuff that you're supposed to do. So I think that I would draw a parallel there where um, you can be successful in both, uh, but there are, for me anyway, there, there there's uh, there's guidelines that you need that you need to stay within in order to do it right, I guess. And that's the parallel that I draw to it because- It's like Scott Todd's your director. Yeah, like Scott Todd's, yeah. 
And he is. And that's that's the thing. And then and then it makes it easy for me. Right. Is Scott Todd the best director you've ever worked with? Is he like a Spielberg, a Scorsese, a Kubrick? May he I'm going to say that Scott Todd is a Scott Todd. OK, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm not going to I'm not going to Scorsese is awesome. Uh, my favorite actor is uh, De Niro, who works with Scorsese a lot. And uh, um, Scorsese is a brilliant actor, but he's no Scott Todd. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. All right. Scott, you, you like when we, we stroke your ego. Uh, of course. Uh, who doesn't? But, you know, the thing, Mark, the thing is, is that um, what, what, I, what I like what Paul's saying, okay, what I really like what he's saying is that, honestly, this does come down to a recipe, right? Like, and that's the way I break things down because a lot of times when you look at the world, the world can be complex, but the minute you put a recipe in there, it's it's easy. Yeah. Step, 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 it's step, true. right? Yeah, yeah. And so when there's a formula for something, and like I've done that with, with land investing, I've done it with process moto, because the way I'm thinking is I think through these steps and I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's just go do these steps and then do it again and do it again because it's repeatable. And ultimately, I think that that's what a lot of people struggle with. Um, what any type of investing, real estate investing, it could be stocks. If you gave someone a recipe for success with stocks, like do this, this, yeah. this anybody can be successful at anything. You just have to figure out the formula. Can you be successful in land investing without flight school? Of course you can. Like there are people that do it. How? Because they figure out the formula. They make their own formula, and that's okay. Or you can take the shortcut and not have to worry about the formula and just follow. So, like, I like what Paul, I, I like the way that Paul did it. He just took the shortcut. Yeah. And I will say that today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. If you want to be by, like Paul, you want to move the needle in your life, you want to start getting that passive income, you want to just solve, you don't want to just solve your money problems, but you want to solve your time problems and have Scott Todd take you up that mountain of, uh, of land investing quickly, safely, and efficiently. Go to landgeek.com forward slash training and schedule a call with Mike or Scott. Thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Well, Paul, we're at this point now on the podcast where we're going to ask you for your tip of the week, a website, a resource, another book, something else actionable for the art of passive income listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. Your story is so inspiring, but we're going to ask you for one more bit of wisdom. Yeah. Um... Thank you guys for having me on here. And uh, the, the the tip of the week does happen to be the very uh, the hardest thing about this for me. Uh, I had three of them, and I narrowed it down to two. So, have you guys heard of carrots egg coffee? The store did I carrots carrots egg egg coffee? No. So it's not. I had this whole, I had three, I, I, I had this freaking uh, like this website and I was like this, the, the platform that was gonna, um, and so I, it didn't work. It was too, uh, uh, too many, um, uh, there was problems with it. So Carrots Eggs Coffee is, is a Mike Zeno thing. It's oh. a mind, it's a mindset thing. So my tip of the week is gonna be this, this mindset for most people for people, period. Um, and it's a story. And as an actor, I guess it fits me. So there's a little girl, there's a girl, a little girl, she's, uh, you know, in whatever uh, grade school, she's not, she goes to her mom. And uh, she, she, she tells her mom, she's like, Mom, I'm, you know, watching the news and whatnot. It's, you know, this is a mindset thing. So she's like, I'm watching the news. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at television. And I have no uh, I'm kind of like um, wondering what's going on in the world today and like how to fit in and stuff and how to you know, uh, make a difference. And her mom tells her, you know, she says, go to the kitchen and she goes, get me three pots and fill those pots up with water. And she, she does, the girl goes, get the three pots, she fills them up with water and her mom happens to have three stoves. She puts the pots on the stove, she, 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 she heats them up. She goes, 
I'm going to put a carrot in this one. I'm going to put an egg in this one. I'm going to put some coffee in this water. All, everything's got water. And I want you to go back. She tells her daughter, she, she goes, I want you to go and sit down and think about, you know, just how you feel right now. She, she does. And then, you know, she got come back in 15 minutes. Okay, great. So 15 minutes passed. Daughter comes back talks to the mom she's like okay mom what do you what's the deal here with the carrot with the with the, the carrot and the egg and the, and the coffee and these three pots and she goes okay she goes well um which one are you and the daughter goes what are you talking about and the mom goes well which one are you you know um you're talking about how you know um your you know your environment and 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 you're talking about the way that things are in the news and world and and uh, how do you want to be? Which one are you? She's like, I don't get it. And and her mom goes, OK, well, I boiled this water. I put a carrot and an egg and a coffee in all three of these waters. When you gave me the carrot, it was hard. Pretty, pretty sturdy. Now it's, you know, really soft. It's been, it's been um, changed by the boiling water. It's soft, it's not as rigid. The egg, you put that egg in there and it's also, it, you know, on the inside, you and I both know that it's yolk. But if I crack it, it's now changed. The water has changed and it's hard and it's now different. Um, uh, coffee, the coffee beans, I put these coffee beans in this water and it's changed the water, right? So, uh, which one are you? And, and, and the daughter wasn't real, real clear, clear about it, but she goes, are you going to be the heart? Her mom cleared it up for her. Are you going to be somebody comes in really soft? gets put into the environment and come out really hard and rigid and upset about what's going on? Are you going to be, uh, or, or, or end up getting soft about what's going on? Are you going to be the, the, the egg that comes in really soft, ends up being hard? Or are you going to change your environment? Are you going to be a coffee, you know, bean and just kind of change, change what's going around you? So that's my tip of the week is I think we should be coffee beans. I, I love it. Um, okay. I quit drinking coffee, but I want to be a coffee bean in this story. <laughs> I, knew sure. you guys, I thought you guys would like that, man, because it's different. It's it's a different tip of the week. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Scott Todd, what's your tip of the week? I didn't even think of bringing one. I don't know. I, I don't have one. Okay, listen. I Here. I'm going to build off of off of uh, pause. Yeah, you don't, need one. you don't need one. You don't need one. Carrots, eggs, and coffee. And the first thing that comes up when you Google carrots, eggs, and coffee, Mark, did you see what it is? What it's, is it? It's a restaurant in Hawaii called Alan Wong's. My favorite restaurant in Hawaii is Alan Wong's. Therefore, Google that so you remember my favorite restaurant, Alan Wong's. Go to Oahu and go to Alan Wong's restaurant. I, I remember looking at that menu. It was insane. Um, I think you sent me some pictures. I mean, it's it, I even, the, even the drink there was insane. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, my tip of the week is learn more about the talents of Paul Flanagan. Start watching Your Honor, amazing stories. Um, we will be promoting everything that, that Paul is in because he's part of our community. That's one of the great things about the community is we support each other, we cheer each other on, and it doesn't just have to be the land investing business. It can be the other things that you're doing as well. And um, it's really cool to have uh, someone like that in our community that's willing to share, give back. And it's also seeing how the passive income is moving the needle in their life so they can go and pursue their greatest passion in life, which for Paul is acting. So uh, I wanna thank the listeners, remind them the only way Paul Flanagan is going to come back and tell us that he's, he's, you know, just destroying it now in, in land investing and his pants mm -hmm. and income. If you do us three favors, subscribe, rate, review the podcast, send a screenshot of that review, support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free the $97 uh, wholetailing course, how to double your money 30 days or less. 
All right, ready to do this? Yeah. One, two, three. Let's let, let freedom, freedom ring. ring. All right. Thanks, like everybody. It. All right. Right on.